How you doing? Mike from 1A Auto. I'm going to show you how to remove and replace your power window regulator. This is a 2015 Chevy Silverado, uh, same as the uh, Silverado, Sierra, uh, and also Yukon and things like that, although the door panel may be a little bit different, but basic procedure is the same. If you're going to be working with the doors open, good idea. Uh, this switch right up here shuts off your dome light. Middle position is on with the doors uh, open. Over here is permanently on. And then you can see the lights right here. Shut it off. That way your lights aren't draining the battery while you're working on your door. First, you're going to want to remove these little doors. There's one here. And there's a little indent down at the bottom. You want to use a little 90 degree pick available at 1aauto.com. Pull the bottom of that out. And then that panel comes out. And then there's another one right down in here. Same thing. There's an indent at the front. Work the pick right in there. Gotta go down first underneath. Pull it up. Now this panel comes off, and this one can be a little unnerving. Um, you just have to pull hard, and it does release. Sometimes these metal clips will fall into the door, um, but you actually want to retrieve them, and you can do it just by kind of squeezing them and prying up with a screwdriver and then down with my finger. And sometimes these will fall down into the door and you just have to wait till you have the door panel off to retrieve them. But you can just push them right back onto the panel so that when you go to reinstall it, they're there. Now six seven millimeter bolts hold it. There's one way back in here, one right up here, two down here, and two at the bottom of the door panel. And I'll remove those. Use a seven millimeter socket with a ratchet and extension. All right, so we've got the six bolts out. This part can be the worst part because now it's just clipped in place, but these clips can really hold on tight sometimes. I just work my hand underneath this corner and then I grab right here and I just give a good pull. Okay, and then there's clips all the way up at the top that release. The door panel comes off, go up. If your door lock fell out of place, put it back up into place. Release your door handle cable by pressing down here and then pulling back. Okay, and then work it around, pull it up and out. And then there's a single electrical connector here. Push on the black tab while you pull up on the gray tab. Okay, and then bring the gray locking tab out and that unlocks. With the door panel off, now we can remove this inside trim panel there's a little clip here that you can usually pull on. And there's also going to be a clip there. It's missing on this truck. And the correct tool from 1aauto.com is this little kind of forceps. Pry that out. If you didn't have one of those and you were in a pinch, you could use a flat blade screwdriver. Um, but remove those two pins. And then there's a clip behind here that you have to pull firmly and release and basically kind of pull this out and down all the way around. And again, you'd pull that pin out there and that comes off. If you did pull the panel up and off and this weather strip went with the door panel, you're gonna to wanna to remove this piece of weather strip, pull it down and you can see some clips back in there and pry down with a small screwdriver and then pull up to release each clip. You can see the clips actually come off as we go. And then these clips slide back down onto the door and the weather strip goes back in place. This part seals against the window. Remove these two seven millimeter bolts that hold this bracket in place. And 
once you have that bracket off, carefully pull. You want to be careful not to tear your inner water shield and try and pull and get this uh, adhesive to come off in as much as a one a piece as you can. Okay, pair of pliers and pull this plug out here. And then there are two 10 millimeter bolts that hold the window to the regulator. One here, and then you can access the other one here. 10 millimeter socket with the ratchet and extension and loosen these two bolts. You can move your window back down and you just wanna kind of pull the window out of the Pull the window out of the clamps that are holding it. Pull your window up. Put a painter's tape. Hold it in place. Now four 10 millimeter nuts hold it in place. There are actually five. One, two, three, four, and five. And we'll disconnect the power window motor, which is right here. Just press on the sides and pull down. Okay, now remove this last one. And your regulator should come out. Easiest thing is just to remove the window. Once your regulator is out, let the window slide down. Let the front go down first, and then pull the back up and out. Install the regulator. Put the back rail in first. Top. Top and motor of the front rail. And then reinstall our five 10 millimeter nuts. And tighten these up. You want to get these uh, nice and firm. You don't have to over tighten them though. I usually just take a small wrench, tighten, get them all kind of firm first, and then tighten them extra eighth of a turn or so. And I just tighten them up. And we can reconnect our window motor. Before going further, we're just going to test. So plug our door back in, lock it in, turn the key on, and make sure everything's going up and down, and run them down about as far as you can, and then disconnect your harness again. Before you put the window back in, take this piece of weather stripping off. Just pull up. Make sure you don't lose any of those clips. Okay, now put the window down in. 
Make sure you put the front corner in to the channel. You get the back corner in the channel. Get it down once you get the once you get the top below the top of the frame. Then you can kind of twist it into place. And you can actually let it go down into your window regulator. And put this piece of weather stripping back on. We'll bring our door panel back. Plug it in. Turn the key on. Run your regulator up. Just check, make sure that the, the mount is on there correctly. And on the other side, run it right up to the top. And now we'll tighten these two clamp bolts. Now before we put the water shield back on and the door panel, we're just going to test it real quick. Make sure it runs nice and smooth and uninterrupted. Now reinstall your water shield. Make sure you put the inside door cable through. And then there's a few different alignment points. Make sure this hole here is lined up because that's where your door panel goes on. Reinstall this bracket. Sometimes these clips will fall down. Just make sure they're up in place. back in. Okay, now this piece, so you basically want to kind of get this lip in first. So start it on and you're kind of pushing, I'm pushing with my thumb on the inside first to make sure that that all locks into place. And then up here, just make sure that pushes in and locks. And then you want to push it down, make sure it goes underneath this weather strip for the most part. And then push this pin into place and this pin as well, although it is missing on my truck. And this weather ship strip should really be outside of the molding. So you might just have to kind of work it with your fingers up and around. Now your panel, put the door handle cable on first, put it down in, pull back, around, and then slide it forward into place. And then your connection down here, lift up, put the connection in place, get it going, and then slide or pivot that locking tab up. And there's two larger lineup pins, one here and one on the front here. So just kind of look things into place. Make sure you lift this up. Get your lock into place, down. And then I can see that lineup pin right there. And this front lineup pin there. Okay. And it locks in place. Now we're going to put our six seven millimeter screws back in. All right, one was here, one here, two here, and then two down low. This one that we're going to put in here, I'm just going to put a little piece of um, paper towel on there, hold it in place, put it in, start it going, and I'll start the rest of them. 
All right, now we'll tighten those up. And you don't want to get these too tight. Get them nice and firm. And that's good. They're only going into plastic. Panels back in, curves the soft corners at the top. Pushes into place. And then this, the little notch goes in the front. In place. And then this panel, once you've put your clips back on, you're gonna put the top up and in and snap it back in place. Thanks for watching. Visit 1AAuto.com, your place for DIY auto repairs, for great parts, great service, and more content.